Fish heads, welcome back. It is Janet Jekyll Bates. It's time for another workshop update. I featured a couple of these pieces earlier in the week. Let me slide that back up into frame. You guys probably just finished watching what my picks are for blanks. If you're a brand new painter and you want to start selling or you just want to paint for yourself and you want to know what the top selling or top performing baits are, the lures. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It was just a little quick tip for you guys. This, I featured a couple of these pieces earlier this week, um, and thank you, thank you. It was a six-piece order. Uh, still, have, there's another one of these that's a brook trout um, that is not, it's, it's already been reallocated. Um, but unfortunately, it just, it took too long for the buyer. They, they asked for a refund, which I completely understand. Things have been slow, and I know... I sound like a broken record, but it has been the slowest, most agonizing year trying to get supplies in. And for the record, these um, normally come from Johnston Lure Company. Um, this is their toothache up here. And this is the perch pattern, hence the hump. My hump, my hump, my hump. Um, yeah, <laughs> maybe I need to listen to some Black Eyed Peas. Um, yeah, so this is theirs, and uh, I ran out of the supply that they had given me. Um, I had won a contest a year to a year ago. I guess it was a year ago, last year. Um, anyways, for this pattern, which was really cool, and I didn't expect to win. It was just that was the first time I had unveiled the uh, the wintergreen, wintergreen sunfish, my pattern. So it has since become wildly popular at Jekyll Bates and I love replicating that pattern but anyways won a contest they were kind enough to send me a slew of these and quickly ran out and then have just been ordering bulk and it's just been it's been slow so these didn't come in I was waiting on this to complete the order it, it went well over two months and unfortunately I lost that sale for the customer but it's it's ultimately my fault and and I tell you if you guys are dealing with situations like that Try and remember to be good to your customers and let them know, give them a heads up, and, uh, and that, will, that will make all the difference in the world. But anyways, thanks again. Um, these went flew out the other day. And this is perch. They're both perch. But I don't know if you guys can see the detailing, what's going on here. Transparent. The, I didn't do a white base. A lot of people do a white base underneath this and do a solid fin. I really like for it to take on that transparent quality like fish look like in real life. Um, and you can do that just by layering your colors. So obviously the white is the last thing that I put on there. But I started with a uh, fluorescent yellow and then layered in some fluorescent sunburst and then a red, just a regular bright transparent red. And then detail black magenta over top of that um, with a stencil. Now this stencil, hang on just a second. We're gonna show you the stencil because that's important. It's from Russ Allen and I love his fin wheels. So I'm actually gonna, we're probably gonna edit this through, I think, cause it's gonna take me a minute to get the stencil out. A few moments later. And the white is the detailing, the last thing. And obviously I'm using a stencil. And what I mean by that is that Russ Allen over at Insane Custom Stencils puts on and makes an amazing fin wheel. Now I, I break mine apart only because I don't want to have that whole fin wheel in my hand at the same time as I'm spraying. Uh, there's usually just too much going on for me to do that. But if you will look at, let's see, which ones did I use? Was it, no, it wasn't that one. Got this, that one, and this one. Okay, so for this toothache pattern, I layered four colors over each other using the same stencil, okay? And I did the same thing. I'm only going to show you one. So basically, it's just yellow, then the orange, then the red, and then come back over with a detailed black magenta, and it's all transparent paints. Fluorescent is a little thicker than your average transparent. You can reduce it down. I do not. I just shoot real, real light on the trigger. Um, just something that I've taught myself to do over time. But then I come back with an artist detail brush and I, I hand paint in all of the little outside 
attributes and the, uh, the fin, that cartilage that's in there. And then all the dots are hand done. And then this is a hand cut stencil. I'm just putting on, I'm, you know, basically putting one side and then flipping it and doing the other side. Sorry about that camera bump. Sort of like a fist bump. So that is the toothache version of it. I love that transparency on that. And then on the perch pattern, I just love how these colors came out. My favorite part of this particular one is how this yellow, this fluorescent yellow and pearl lime that I mixed together just kind of trickles down. It's like threads. And it really, really makes this particular bait pop. But I, I really, I'm, ha I'm sad to see this go, really, to be honest. Um, but Paul Baker, you're getting, and thank you, Paul and Tay, for, uh, for the purchases. They did not last long. And I didn't think they would. But that is the perch. Some little shading around here. On to the next couple of ones. These are going out to Justin Brewer. He's got the, uh, the flame here and then Spring Fever on a 2.5. This is um, John over at Jetson. That is his fantastic reptile eyes. And this is just shading. It looks like it's on fire um, and, and heat coming out of it only because it's got a pearl flash that I sprayed over top of a sunburst fluorescent in the heart of it in the middle and then sprayed a darker color around that and that's how you get that effect and then just got some chrome eyes on this one and Justin I'm gonna send these ahead of time if you're watching today because this weekend's project are your two s waivers I am so stoked to do these baits for you um, these are the lures that I chose that I'm going to be transforming. Now, Justin Brewer has given me artist choice, so I can't wait. I'm probably going to throw one of these in a spray session uh, that you guys will probably see next week. That's what I'm thinking about doing with that. So, and he didn't ask me to do that, but these are just, these S waivers are just killer. And I love customizing them. We've got a sewer mouse or sewer rat rat runner whatever you want to call it i've got a couple of different series of these and this is how that turned out and this has been reallocated to don david up in new york thank you don love those red eyes a little bit of i call it poison um it's darker than pink it's a fluorescent magenta and it's from the wicked line And then we've got three baits. This is for the throne. This is the Night King pop. It's on that gill through. Very cool. Lots of fun. A Ragin' Cajun. This is the Cajun Nolan's Crawl. And this is on a non-dinger. Only because he was out of this particular style and I needed to fill orders. Unfortunately, that's the way it's been this year. I know. I just I keep going back to that because it's just so frustrating as a small business person. You want to make your clients happy. You want to make your customers happy. And when I have to go resource stuff, which means source for the second time because I've already paid for it and I have to pay for it again because I haven't gotten the first batch in. Um, not, not from Dinger. Don, Brian doesn't do that. He just happened to be out of stock on this particular one. But it's just been frustrating running down places to get alternative solutions. I have got a rainbow breeding bow, a lot of pearl and shimmer on this one, on a 2.5. And then um, I got, uh, I have no idea how this swims, I don't know if it's going to sink like a rock, I, it feels sort of balanced in the weighting, 
but I have, again, I left this really plain because if I don't know how something swims and I'm just going to throw it and test it and see how it comes through the weeds because obviously it's got this really heavy duty weed guard on it. And obviously this is for a, a bigger, bigger fish because, uh, yeah. And that's, that's pr I mean, the, the gear is sticky. This uh, was pliable. I had to squeeze it down to get it in the jar. I did dip this. I didn't brush it on. It's dippable. You just have to clean the uh, this this part of the hook off. Just gently scrape that once the clear coat is dry. But I left it as a as a bait fish, just a simple shad pattern. A little red on the throat, and I'm gonna test it, see how it swims. I think um, Tim over at Crossroads sent me a bunch of these. Uh, not particularly a bunch of these, but. He sent me a, kindly sent me a batch of lures because he's selling these days as well. So I'm always grateful and I try and give you guys props when I can. Um, but we're going to test this. We're going to see how it does. I'm going to have, I'm actually going to have one of my pro staff do it because I simply don't have the time. I'm not even doing anything for 4th of July except for hanging out. I might get on my roof and watch fireworks because I'm right across the street from Southside in Jonesboro. So they, the big um, softball, baseball complex, they shoot them off there. That's where the town celebrates. And I can see the fireworks from my house. And why drive um, anywhere when I can see it right from my backyard? So that's what I'm probably going to do is just sit on my rooftop with a ice cold beverage, tea maybe, I don't know, Fourth of July. Cheers. Happy, happy birthday, America. And that's what we're going to do. And then the last one, I, I mentioned Russ. I try and mention everybody that is uh is kind and generous and has really awesome products but uh, you guys have probably already seen the um, anarchy model stencil uk unboxing so i did a little and you you guys probably it's not that doesn't make sense let's try let's try a sentence again that makes sense you guys see stuff differently than the way i film it um, because i have a schedule uploader for my youtube channel so it keeps my programming consistent and it also gives me a little bit more freedom like if I have more time to film a couple of different things on one particular day instead of doubling up uploads it just keeps my upload times consistent that's all I'm doing so you're probably seeing this either a day or two after I've actually sprayed it or the unboxing let's say okay so today in real time is Friday um, you may have seen an unboxing yesterday or the day before I'm not sure when that one scheduled either so yeah so that's the deal but this it's so pretty and it's so intricate so his his stencils the micros this is the snakeskin micro um, and it's such an intricate pattern and I don't reduce but the opaque didn't clog it shot beautifully over top of that stencil so Brian Best at Anarchy Again, you guys that do, you know, between Russ Allen and he's got some just amazing, his, most of his are on wheels and Brian sends stuff out on um, single cards and they're about the size of an index card, like three by five. Um, or if you're in, uh, if you're not in the States and you're anywhere else on the planet, the States I think are still the only folks that uh, don't use metrics. So a three by five would be pretty much like seven and a half centimeters or eight centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters so I've, I've learned to do conversions over the years just because I deal with so much um, stuff out of Japan and China that's what I've got for you guys today thanks for hanging out with me um, Mr. Archer one of my longtime subscribers always reminds me that I need to go 10 minutes on these things um, I, and I've and I've told him before so sir if you're listening if I have the content to expand on, I will, but I don't want to just kind of like bombard you guys with fluff just to get the views and the algorithms. It's not my style. So if I don't have anything to, to tell you guys, then I'll just save it for another video or I'll give you guys a shorty. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Happy birthday, America. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. And if you're watching this real time, like if you're watching this the day it releases, which is going to be Friday, the July 3rd, um, there's a sale going on. I'm doing a limited 1.5 and 2.5 limited run of America. And also, I've got a massive t-shirt sale. And if you look at the code right now, 
Yep, that code at the bottom of the screen. It's 15% off everything, including apparel, except for the already marked tees, which are 15 bucks, um, on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. Cheers. Happy casting. Happy birthday, America. Woo! We'll see you later. Thanks for the view. Thanks.